All right, so my modern parents, they want me to be naughty. They want me to be naughty. You know exactly what I mean by naughty. You know exactly. They want me to, they, they, they want me to go out there and start um, getting some, getting some puh. Ray hidden, Ray want to get, they want Ray to get some girls. They want Ray to have some one night stands or whatever. I think that's what they want. But point being, the one night stands are night, naughty. They want me to do that junk. How I know this? One time, okay, uh, I think it was yesterday I was off work. Around like the afternoon. One of my modern parents was on the phone. I overheard them talking about, um, I don't think he's into that. No, no, I don't think, um, why, why y'all, no, it was something along the lines of, um, I don't think, I don't think Raymond do all that naughty stuff. And then, and then next thing, you know, like, he'll, he'll be doing, he'll be doing, he'll be doing whatever he's, he's gonna be doing whatever, whenever he's ready. He's gonna be do it whenever he's ready. You're referring to me having sex. They, my modern parents, I, I feel like they're eager for me to um to be uh, actually sleeping around. The thing is, one of my modern parents, I'm pretty sure you already know, one of my modern parents feel that something is wrong with me. I'm in my 20s. I'm single. I, I have all the time and energy to go out there and sleep around with all these women. And I could if I wanted to. I am partially black pilled and somewhat an incel. I'm a vocel, okay? I voluntarily celibate while I'm a virgin, so whatever. I am, I am, I have, technically I have all the time, well not all the time, but considering I am in my 20s, if I wanted to, I can go around seeing all these females, sleep with her, and don't commit. And just have a whole bunch of one night stands. I can go to a club, a party, whatever. I can fuck her. And there we go. Okay. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't think my mind, specifically that one modern parent, just do not really understand how much of the Bible I'm trying to keep. It's not even just about the Bible. Because I know some of y'all, you know who you are, really don't like the fact that I put Christianity on everything, okay? But Christianity, Christianity, I can't speak. I do have um this milkshake, so I got this from um, um Baskin Robin Dunkin' Do <coughs> excuse me, Dunkin' Donuts. Hold up. Yeah, so I base pretty much I want to say all, but that would be a lie. I base my entire life on the creations of God, the created, the, the, the way how God designed humans, okay? I need y'all to understand that. Um, I've gone public with my faith in Jesus Christ through baptism in 2021, October 2021. That's when I got baptized. That's, I mean, I already was a Christian prior to that. But and even though around 2020, that's when I really started to understand the relationship between me and Jesus. And me and God, my, I know my hands are sticky, sorry. Uh, me and Jesus, right? That's when me and my relationship with Jesus started to actually, uh, you know, become closer. You know, I started to understand exactly how exactly Jesus and the relationship with God is supposed to work. And I do that through Jesus. I understood. So... I want to, I mean, technically, like I said, I've always been a Christian, but I like to say I have officially became Christian in 2020, okay? Like, understood Christianity, like, so yeah. Or, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying, yeah, I was always Christian all my life, but I understood Christianity around 2020, so yeah. Anyway, so, like I said, I base my entire, not entire, I base my entire, you know, principles and values and morals based off the Bible, okay? I truly believe that the earth was made in six days. A lot of you are going to hate that. I know. I'm a flat earther, by the way, okay? So I'll make a video on that eventually, but I got to make some pre-rest, pre um, 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 pre you know, make some previous videos before I do that. 
Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, I, the, the Bible is true. The Bible is the true word of God and the God who, and I don't understand atheists or whatever. That I really don't understand them. Look, you could go ahead and be your little atheist, go ahead and be an accident and stuff like that. All I'm saying is this earth has a creator. Ain't no way. Just like this phone, just like the phone or computer you're watching that on has a creator, has a builder. This this earth has a builder as well. You'd be silly to say this earth does not have a builder. Anyway, so point being, I truly believe Adam and Eve, the way how God originally intended, um, they are the weight of life. And Adam and Eve, they obviously were virgins. Obviously, obviously, God told them, God told them to be fruitful and multiply. And I'm trying to do the exact same thing as what God said. Okay. The thing is, my modern parents just seem to not understand specifically that one. They they see it as wrong, like they only see the fruitful part, not the multiply part. That's the thing. Most men and most people, uh, most people in society, all they do is be fruitful. That's it. And that sometimes that's not even fruitful. I'm speaking in metaphors a little, but you see what I'm saying. All this fornication and one night stands and stuff like that. That's nothing but just being fruitful. Where's the multiplying? God said for us to be fruitful and multiply, not be just fruitful. He didn't say that. Nah. God said be fruitful and multiply. So I'm gonna do exactly that. That's that, that's the reason. That's kind of another reason why I have been withholding myself from this whole sex thing. Okay. Because I don't want to sit there and just do half of what God told me to do. Because it's either all or nothing. It's either all or nothing. Love one, hate the other. That's literally what the Bible says. So, if I'm going to do all or nothing, what I have to do is do it the exact way God said it. Okay? Like I said, all or nothing. Okay. I'm fully a virgin. Okay. If I go with the non-virgin woman... That's not that that's that's some cross breeding stuff, okay? That's some cross breeding stuff. That's some um some um what's the word I'm looking for? Some purity mixing. No. Some purity mixing. Nah. -uh. Yeah, a lot of people like to say race mixing, which is kinda of an old term, but technically there is no such thing of other races, but I won't get too much in that. Purity mixing. Purity mixing, no. Why in the world would I sit there, sit there and go for a non virgin woman? I would have to be desperate in order for her to go for her. I would have to be really strong not to go with her. I'm already making... I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm already making a few sacrifices for this woman. That I may consider a non-virgin woman. As long as she doesn't have a high body count. But at the same time, that is so unequally yoked. That's not full. That's serving two masters. I'm trying to serve a God who told me to... Um, I'm, try I'm trying to serve... God, a God, no, the God. I'm trying to serve the God that told humans to be virgins, to be undefiled, get married. Okay, I'm a virgin, and I'm over here serving a woman. If you, I'm speaking metaphors, okay? I'm serving a woman who's not a virgin. She's serving me her sexual experience, and I'm serving her no sexual experience. You see where I'm going out here? That's not equal. What part of that doesn't? What part of people don't understand with that? If I was a non-virgin, then I'll definitely consider a non-virgin woman. People want to act, act a fool, um, want to want to have problems or whatever. Every single time, people, you know, want, trying to stay virgins. Like, look, I understand virginity is very looked down upon in society, which I don't understand why, but. Virginities, are all, they, they, they say like, oh, you treat sex as if this is some big thing. It's just pull. It's just sex, right? Just just wrap it up. Stop being afraid. Just wrap it up. You're putting women on a pedestal. You're putting pull on a pedestal as if it's just some power. Um, No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, the whole point I'm saying is I'm seeing all my brothers and sisters in the world throughout history going through all these soul ties all these problems and it, it's just 
Be, why? Because they're fornicating. They're doing it the way outside of God's design. When you do things outside of God's design, don't start going to God and asking, What happened, God? What happened? Why my life isn't turning out right, God? Um, no, wait a minute. I told you to do this, and you did the opposite. That's all I'm trying to say. Just do what you're told. Just do it the way God designed it. Just do things the way how it's designed. Then you won't have no problems. And I'm trying to... I refuse... I refuse to deal with no soul ties. And especially consider I never had a girlfriend. If I sit here, lose my virginity to this woman, rather she's a virgin or not. I'm obviously... Firstly... I'm, I'm a shy boyfriend because this is my first girlfriend. I'm going to be all up in her feelings. I'm going to be blushing all the time with her. I'm going to be missing her. Probably going to be texting her a lot too. I said probably, okay? Probably. Probably, okay? I have to say it multiple times, okay? Y'all don't understand my mind. I'm, I, I, I measure reality in probability. In possibility. No, probability. One of those. You know what I'm trying to say. Point is, my brain isn't finite, okay? I'm probably not finite. The world, yeah. No. Finite. Okay, I can't say I'm infinite. I, the point being, the point being, I'm, I, I'm not perfect, okay? I don't 100% believe things unless fully proven. But there's always a the kicker to it. Anyway, so, like I said, it, even if, if, I, if I get this girlfriend and, and if I lose my virginity to this girl, I'm going to be all up in this my emotions with her. I'm going to be so attached to her and everything. I'm going to be way too attached to her. Because that was my first time and I just sat there and had this beautiful sex thing with her. But unfortunately, I did it through fornication. So yeah, that's the thing my modern parents... I had, I know I got a, went on a tangent. That's the thing my modern parents don't understand. Specifically that one. I do appreciate the other, the, the other parent, uh, the other modern parent um, sticking up for me saying... He'll do it when he's ready. That's right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my nasty, freaky stuff whenever I'm ready. For the record, I don't plan on doing no nasty, freaky stuff. I know. I'm thinking. Okay. I know. Cause you know they. You know they say virgins are probably the most, the most freakiest people. So yeah. Especially as a virgin guy. So yeah. It's kind of considering in my nature to be sexual. So yeah. Anyway. So like I said, I, they 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 said that he'll he'll do it when he's ready. He'll go out there when he's ready. And that is correct. When I am ready, if I'm ready, I'm putting that in quotes, okay? When when I'm ready to do all that sex stuff and start seeking females for relationship, okay? It's not about all sex, okay? Uh, but for relationships and all, then I'll do it. But in the meantime, no. I do not have what it takes to be this provider boyfriend. I do not have what it takes to be this provider husband. That's something my modern parents don't understand. Specifically one of them. I already told my biological parents, chances are you're not going to be having no grandchildren sooner or later. And recently I found out one of my um, biological parents, I think is diagnosed with a form of cancer. So yeah, pray for my biological parent. Both my bi oh shit, I'm about to lose both my biological parents. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I'm laughing, but the thing is, you know, it's like the I, like I feel like I'm strong. I'm gonna be strong with my parents' death. Like I feel like I won't be as emotional. Why? 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 Why I won't be as emotional for my biological parents' life? Solely because, um, <laughs> I think that's the emotion inside of me right now. Solely because, what's really the point of crying? What's really the point of crying? I think I'm about to lose both my biological parents. Shoot, that sucks. Pray for both of them. My biological father, he has, I think, heart problems because he keep um, drinking too much beer. He did not take care of his body throughout all these 20 years. Yeah. And my biological um, mother, you know, the whole cancer thing. So, yeah. Yep. I got sidetracked. Anyway, so like I said, my modern parents, they just do not understand. They do not understand. I already told them. I already told them. Both my biological parents, in fact, all well, no, my biological parents and my childhood parent, no, my biological parents and my modern parents, you ain't gonna be having no grandchildren anytime soon. And then I said to my to the one who stuck up for me, okay, since they want to have a problem with me, um, waiting, 
um, waiting for the right moment for dating and sex and all that stuff, why don't you find me a Christian, a white Christian, no, a Christian white, bir- a Christian virgin white woman that's not fat? And then they said, chances are those virgin women don't exist. I'm like, well, all righty then. Looks like you ain't have no grandchildren. Looks like you ain't have no grandchildren. Sorry, it is what it is. I don't. I don't think. I don't think even the um, the other the one who um, the, the the modern parent who stuck up for me don't understand. Like the fact is, you're punishing her, Ray, just because I'm just because I don't want to have sex with her because she has a body count. You're judging her. No, I'm not. She judges herself. Open them them legs. Like I don't. That's one thing I really don't understand. People, y'all even. So you know, you know who you are. Specifically, the males, the the female. I don't know the females, but the males. I really don't understand. And the Christians too. Whoever, any Christians or people who's within the Christian faith or whatever, and some variant of Christianity or whatever. Or point being, purity and morality. Morality. I'm specifically talking to the Christians, and I plan to speak to my current pastor about this, okay? Because I, this been weighing I, every single day. I'm every single day. It's in my head. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I want a woman. I want a virgin wife. I want a virgin wife. Every single day. I'm honestly sick of talking to this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very sick of talking to this. I just want to live my life and let God handle. Okay? I want to do it the way. I want to do it the way how Adam did before he fell. Before Eve was even here. That's the way how I want to do it. Anyway, so... Uh, what, what was my whole talk about? I don't remember. I just forgot. Shoot, I hate this. No grandchildren. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, no, no virgin women don't exist. Okay. Well, all right. Again. Oh, well. Yeah, there it is. Right there. I plan to talk to my current pastor. I say current because... I don't call him my official pastor, but I've been serving at this church for a while. And I, I, I actually want to shoot him a text. Hey, can we talk? Like, uh, this has been weighing my heart all, all the time. For the past couple years, as a matter of well, year or two. So, yeah. I just don't like, hear me out, people. I don't like the concept. And just hear me out, okay? I'm a man. I grew up from a boy to a man being told, be a nice guy, treat her right, be a nice, good um Listen to your girlfriend. Listen to your wife. No sleeping around with a bunch of women. Stay a virgin. Okay, now here I am, 24 years old, still a virgin, with little to no dating experience. Oh, I want to say no dating experience at all. In fact, I don't have any dating experience. I surely don't. I've never been on a date. I've never been to a restaurant with a, with a random female. I never asked a girl out to go on restaurants. Why? Because I don't have what it takes. Point being, I'm sidetracked. I'm sidetracked. I don't like the idea. I just sat here from a boy to a man raised to be a nice, good Christian guy. Nice, nice, good Christian guy that listens that listens to the counsel of his wife slash woman. Um, um, that, I'm not saying don't listen to your wife. That's not what I'm saying, okay? Um, listen to her. Let her be independent and all that stuff. If she don't need a man, I need to accept that. Um, um, provide for her, despite she have her own money and stuff like that. Um, her, my money, her money is her money, and my money is our money. I was all taught to do that as a Christian virgin man. While I'm over here expected to be, oh, oh, she's not a virgin. Oh, you're judging her, Ray, for her past. That's not Christian-like. That's not what Jesus would do. For a start, Jesus died a virgin. I know I do all of this and stuff like that. Y'all might think I'm all effeminate. Well, let's just let's let's pro, let's bring that part of me in anyway. Since I was um, counseled, not counseled. Not, what's the word I'm looking for? Ow. Well, I was counseled by a woman, so there's that. Um, um, since I was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Shoot, 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 I don't remember. Since I was technically raised by a lot of women, what do you expect? 
What do you expect a man to? Do you expect a man to be all macho and all that stuff, being able to talk to all kind of? Hey, what's up, baby girl? Hey, what's up, girl? I don't, I don't need you. Like, let me, let me, let me holler at you or whatever. Let me get you all that shit. You know, I'm playing a character, by the way. Uh, for real, you expect me to act like that, and especially as a quote unquote black man, I'm expected to have all that swagger and stuff. I'm expected to have all this swagger. I was raised to be this nice, good Christian guy. Wait, wait for, wait for marriage. Don't uh, um, go with any woman or whatever. Don't judge her and stuff like that. And then I, I waited all this time just to get sloppy seconds. That's disgusting. Even if she had one body, I'm sorry. You have. I'm. T- it's. It's literally in the same. I'm guy number two. I'm not number one. I'm guy number two. From a fleshly standpoint, okay, I can slightly get past that. Like that's why I feel like I can I feel like I can go for a non virgin woman. Because especially like I said, you know, this flesh is the flesh. It don't matter. I can care less about this thing, okay? I feel myself past this flesh all the time. That's why I don't call myself a black man. I'm a soul that's in this flesh. I can get past the virginity part, but at the same time, we need to remember this. Our we're li- our souls are living in this. The first time our souls are existing are in these physical bodies. In our brain and stuff like that. This woman, she over here opened up her legs or whatever. Even if it's one body, uh, she opened up her legs. She over here letting loose, having sex with all these men. Now she's done. She's coming to me and expecting me to be all nice and perform just the same as the Chad and Tyrones that she had sex with. I wonder do I annoy these these neighbors? I wonder. For real, I don't understand that. That makes no sense. And then my modern parents and all but well, specifically my modern my uh, modern parents and, and my biological parents, they want me to just sit there and throw away my purity just like that. I'm supposed to sit there and accept a woman who was impure? The fuck? I understand I have watched a lot of prawn in my life. I get that. By choice. Okay, I get it. I understand. I'm impure in that arena. So therefore, I need to go for a woman who have also watched a lot of prawn. That's just how I feel. Like I said, I'm unworthy. I'm unworthy for the Proverbs 31 wife. So yeah, that's something. I don't know. Um, this Gen X and Gen X and Boomers and even Millennials too. They don't understand. They really do not understand how the dating scene is like. Even if I wanted to go out there to go I, and honestly I've been kind of thinking about dating <laughs> making a dating profile for like the past couple months but I haven't done it because I understand doing that junk is doing that junk is unnecessary I understand how the dating market is is and like I said what's the fucking point the reason why modern parents if you're watching this which I highly doubt the reason why I'm not out there dating is for one I'm living in your house you want me to come bring girls over at your house and fucking her on that floor I'm sleeping on? That's what you want? Just say that and just maybe, maybe you might get what you want. Seriously, imagine that. Me bringing a girl up in the house and I'm fucking her on that floor. Just think about that. <laughs> it's stupid. And then don't forget we got to clean shit up. And this is, I, I don't even have my own room. I live. I, I sleep in the living room. Does that sound right? Oh, go take her to a motel. Oh my gosh, the fuck no, no, no the fuck no, 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 no. I'm swearing too much. In conclusion, I don't understand. My, the thing is, my modern, my that one specific modern parent, they just the only reason why they find it odd. I'm not doing what they were doing when they were young. Spoiler alert: He, um, they were doing when they was young. It's because. They think I. I think they think that's just something normal men do, okay? Then you want to come preach the Bible, saying, "Oh, God, God gonna do this, God gonna do that, God gonna be um, show wrath and stuff like that." Okay, and you find it problematic. I'm trying to keep my purity from God. I understand. I'm a sinner. I put that in quotes because you know, re- redemption and all that. So yeah, through Jesus Christ, I understand. 
I, I understand. I'm a sinner, okay? I get it. However, all the sins I haven't done, that's what I'm trying to control. I have control of my virginity. I have control of my sexuality. I have control of this. I can't, if I sit there, my virginity, I can't take that back. I cannot take that back. This video is too long. Finally, finally, in conclusion, I cannot take my virginity back. So that's why I'm not going to even, what's the point of dating now, living in my modern parents' place, not knowing how to drive. I have no idea how to drive. I have no idea how to talk to women, but I don't even care if I don't even know how to talk to women. Well, eventually, I feel, I feel like I got confidence. I, I feel like I got, I just never really approach women. I made the conscious decision after me and my unofficial ex broke up in j late January 2016 not to go, not to date because I don't have what it takes to be this provider boyfriend, this provider husband. And it aged very well. Eight years since I last been, since I last broke up with my unofficial ex. Which, spoiler alert, I still do talk to her. I do. Not because of relationship. I already made it clear for her where I'm not interested no more, okay? I already made it clear with her. And she's not interested in me no more. We already made that clear. We're not getting back together. She's already a mother of two. I'm not going for her. She doesn't know that, she doesn't know that reason. I already told her the reason why. But she doesn't know the, the um, the, the, because she's a, um, a mother. I'm not interested no more. Otherwise, that's it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a car. Man, I was trying to go to Six Flags with one of my homies. What happened to his car? I need, I need to call him. And then I need to get some lines from him too. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.